The first thing you notice is the laces and they've got like a nub on there. As you can see a little nub and that nub is really cool because it, it, it keeps the laces in place. It's a soft nylon and I really like the way that you're going to lace up the boots here because this uh, square alignment allows me to, if I want to, I can even uh, bind the boot tighter on the insole, inside or the outside depending on what I'm trying to achieve with each foot. So this is a really neat place to start. So to take a look at the inside of the boot and it's a very stable boot and it's it's quite surprising really the stability uh, which is really important if you're trying to figure out if you should have a more stable or a more flexible boot on the lead or trail side. This is very interesting and then the insole itself is, is quite well designed so that it actually forces you to have pressure more on the ball of the foot. Cleats are designed strategically to try to keep the pressure on the inside portion of your foot. I like that a lot, actually. The very first thing I, I noticed when I put the shoes on is how much freedom I've got on my toes. And what I really like about this is it, it, it allows me to have my freedom so I can actually begin to feel like I'm curling up my toes as opposed to curling them down, which is totally against the grain of having proper pressure uh, movement patterns. Also, too, in my own lace boot pattern, I don't tie up the uh, top two laces. Uh, I like to keep it so that I've got more mobility in my ankles for proper dorsi uh, dorsi and plantar flexion throughout my swing because I move around a little bit during my swing more lateral. On my lead side, I'm going to lace up the top part of the boot and I want to have a very tight, uh, tight knot here at the top by my ankle, so I want a lot of stability because I'm big into breaking on my lead side and I've learned how to break properly but I want to use the extra um, extra rung on the um, on, on the boot lace on the strap so I can tighten it up there and keep that really stable up high so that I can really break hard and that to me is a, a key fundamental principle in gaining distance which is what the square shoes is all about. Really love these square socks it carries out the theme but not only does it do that it's going to give you fundamentally more room and again giving you more freedom in your toes to be able to curl them up to get pressure between the ball and the heels which i feel is optimum for proper power and it's it really supported well in the heel and i like the way the um uh, the lateral uh, sock design and this allows uh, proper bilateral motion where the um uh, you can move the pressure to the inside of the foot uh, we're gonna give it a shot go all the way with this really cool so I've got my square shoes on and a different lace pattern on the trail and the lead. And you can mess around trying different lace patterns, whether you want more stable trail or more uh, stable lead. Uh, and, you, and it's all about the distance. So now we're gonna start uh, taking some swings and see how we can compare the distance to uh, my other normal shoes. These are not normal, by the way. These are really cool, they're square. Get square, baby. Well, the name of the game is distance. Got my squares hat. I'm using my Ernest Sports B1 prototype Patriot launch monitor and uh, we're going to hit a few shots. Distance 142 yards. Right off the get go, first shot. Eight out, okay. Distance 138 yards. I'm comfortable with that. First three swings on the box. Shoes feel amazing. Distance, 144 yards. Yeah, hey there. Yeah, that's looking good. Now we gotta compare it to everything else we got. Distance, 144 yards. Look at that. All my data being collected. Boom, 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 boom. Where's baby?